Hello everybody, day 12 today. No, nothing's happened with chrysalises yet. I'm just going to show you very carefully. There they all are. In the Net Hotel, the Butterfly Hotel. But what I have to do now is I have to put things in place so that when they do emerge from their chrysalises, there will be food there for them because once they start coming out of the chrysalis I can't open the top and disturb them they mustn't do that so I have to do it now so that when they do emerge from the chrysalises all the food will be there in place for them so I've had a look at the instructions and the first thing I'm going to do is in here I have put the 50 mils of water that it instructs me to do on the back of my insect law sugar and I'm going to mix all of this with the 50 mils of water. So I'm going to do that now. I lift it up so you can see me now. Just do the spoon now, stirring that in so that I dissolve all the sugar in the water. This is going to make a syrupy solution, which is going to be like the nectar that the butterflies drink from the flowers and the fruit and the things they have their food from in the garden. Okay, so then I'm going to use the special little pipette that I showed you before with the butterfly on it. Squeeze the end, suck it up. So let's have a little look. Squeeze the end, put it in the solution, suck it up. And then I've got this special feeder that came with it. And I squirt this water into the hole on the feeder. There we are. Drop it all in. And then that will soak in there and that will leave a lovely syrupy solution that the butterflies will eat from. Now I'm going to keep this solution safe because once all the butterflies are out, you can use that then to refill. So that's going to go in. There we are, very carefully, they don't disturb those chrysalises. Now, I read in the instructions that they also like to have some fruit. So I've cut an orange in half. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit of water on that orange as well, just to encourage them to come and drink from there. So that's going to go in. I also thought I'd share my breakfast with them this morning. So I've kept a little bit of my banana. So... I'm going to squirt a little bit of the solution on the banana as well, just so they can smell it and just to attract them. That's going to go in. And also, we had terrible wind down with me yesterday. I don't know what it was like up in Aberdeer, but down where I live, it was very, very windy. And the wind has blown some of the flower heads off the plants in my garden. So they did say you can put flowers in with the, the butterflies as well because they do like butter, uh, flowers, the butterflies do. So I'm going to put these in as well. So hopefully that'll make them have a little bit more interest in there. Then I'm going to seal the top. And I think that that is all ready now for when they decide to it's time to emerge. If you look carefully, you can see the flowers, you can see the fruit, you can see the eating station. And I'm going to put all those now very carefully back in the corner where it's nice and sheltered. It's warm, but not too hot and sunny, not in the direct light. And my next video hopefully will be when the butterflies have decided it's time to emerge from the chrysalis. So I will see you soon.